What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shreve, I have BB Pro, Mr. Talek it is. Welcome back to the episode of Train With Me. Today, guys, we're gonna go over cable goblet squats. Yes, for you guys who have issues, maybe doing it with a dumbbell, we give you an answer. Especially if the dumbbells are taken up at your gym, you can head on over to your favorite cable machine and do the same exercise and get the same benefits. So guys, without further ado, keep your eyes glued to the screen, ears glued to the speakers, let's learn some cable goblet squat shit. Cable shit. Okay, so when we're setting ourselves up in the cables, it's completely fine to do legs and cables. It's not cool to do arms in the squat rack, okay? So when we're setting up, the difference between setting up with the dumbbell or here is very similar because you're gonna have to load low. The only difference is, is that you won't be loading something so heavy and then trying to pick it up like this and then you're doing some weird stuff and then you're like ah, 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 doing that, right? So what we wanna do is, Set the cable up low enough that when you get the cable, when you're at your bottom, there's tension, but you also don't want this to be too high. That when I get to my bottom, I'm like this, and it's like, okay, well, now I'm at the bottom and this isn't gonna work too good here. So get at the lowest for your height, that when you're at the bottom of your squat, that there's tension, but it's not touching the bottom of the rack. It's not touching the bottom of the weights. What handle do we wanna use? I'm gonna give you guys a couple options. I myself, like using this because it's gonna give us the best replica or duplicate or same feeling as holding a dumbbell. It's basically perfectly engineered to have the harder part of my hand sitting right here and I can tuck my elbows in and be like this, which is great. Now, if you don't have this and someone's using it to do something else, like maybe T-bar row or whatever, and you have one of these, great. Now this way is gonna, it's gonna be this way. The only thing with this is, is you might find yourself almost trying to curl too much from here. Either way, if you don't have this, use this. The biggest point is we wanna make sure our elbows stay in, locked in, and shoulders back away from the ears and down so we can maintain this posture. We are going to use the narrow bar here. We're gonna set ourselves up. Make sure you grab a weight that you can just do a warm up set at least, just to find your positioning. While we have this at the bottom, we're gonna get ourselves set up right away. Right now, we're not gonna completely set up until we're actually standing. So don't try and get yourself in position from here. Get yourself up. Now we're gonna do the same thing we do before. We're gonna do the same thing, same rules apply as if we're doing regular dumbbell goblet squats or just squatting, period. Remember, I'm gonna step back a little bit. Feet are gonna be a little bit shoulder width apart. Toes. 11 o'clock and one o'clock. You're gonna to pretend you're gonna rip a piece of paper open with your feet to make sure your knees go over your toes. Slightly have your hips back a bit, but engaging your core. Shoulders back away from your ears, tucking those elbows in. And we're gonna squat and hips and knees are gonna break at the same time. So my hips are gonna go back and my knees are gonna go forward at the same time. Not one and then the other, not here and then here. We want them both to break at the same time. Pause and up. And if you have some issues with dorsoflexion or ankle mobility, and you find that you start leaning too much, we can just elevate the heels by using, if you have it, maybe a wedge, something like this, or five pound plates. So we can set ourselves up with these. You know your feet are at this point. You're gonna get down, hands underneath. Make sure your hands are right, locked in from here, sitting down, and then we're gonna stand up we're gonna walk back to our position, and we're up. Now from here, elbows in, and we're gonna sit and up. Hips and knees break at the same time. Chest up, chest is gonna stay up by shoulders back away from your ears, controlling it down, and then pressing. And then pressing. And that's basically your goblet squat. Now, Gauge how much weight you're using. Do a couple of feeler sets to feel it where you are, get your positioning, and then you'll know how much weight to use for your working sets. Now, when it comes to cables like this, and obviously, you know, starting at the bottom of a squat isn't always the best way to do things. Gauge your weight so you can increase it little by little so when you get to your harder sets, think of using a weight that you can get between 10 to 20 reps. Anything between there is fine. We don't wanna have this thing loaded up, and I'll show you what that looks like. Let's say uh, Ego, Ego Eddie comes in. Damn, I don't got a squat rack, but I'm gonna do this instead. Come on. There. And this isn't smart at all. Right. 
because at that point, I'm really trying to focus on holding the damn weight than I am actually being in position to do a proper squat. Why I say use a weight that you can do between 10 to 20 reps? Because it's a good hypertrophy weight to use that's gonna create a lot more volume, blood flow, stimulus in your quads, glutes, and hamstrings when you're doing the actual squat. So, take this with you guys next time you go to the gym and you're stuck and you can't do barbell squats or dumbbell goblet squats or any kind of squat, you can still do it here without any of the funky stuff. And we got some more video guys, check these ones out right here. Until next time, you know how it is, iron sharpens iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.